So once the yarn arrives, our raw material, the first process that we have to carry out is what we call warping. The warping process involves taking the yarn off each individual spool and getting it to lie parallel in the required design and length of the particular production run. So in any one piece of fabric, we may have anything from 1,500 to 3,000 threads. So what we want to get is all these threads running in parallel to one another and in a particular designed order. And in a lot of cases, it's a repeating pattern. So behind what's called the warp mill, which is a big drum that the yarn gets wrapped around, we have what's called a creel. And this creel carries all the packages of the wool in a set prescribed design. So the drum starts to rotate and as it rotates it pulls the threads from the creel. So that will continue for the required length. We then take all those threads in one go, reverse the direction of the drum and transfer all of those threads onto what's called a weaving beam. Once that process is complete we now have a weaving beam which contains a warp which means all the treads are running parallel to one another. They're all the same length and they're in the design that was required. We then take that weaving beam and we place it in at the back of a loom. The treads of the last warp that are in the loom are laid across a bed and the treads of the new uh, warp are laid on top of it. And then using what's called a knotting machine, we take one thread from the previous warp and one thread from the new warp and we knot them together. So we produce a continuous warp. This then allows the warp to be drawn through the loom. Each thread will go through a series of shafts. And when the loom is running, you'll see some shafts go up and some shafts go down. The ones that go up lift threads and the ones that go down take threads down. And what that does is it creates a gap and at the front of the loom there, at the gap, then you are inserting what's called the weft, which is the yarn that comes in from the side. So each time a thread comes in, the shafts change again, and you get a different selection of threads going up and down, and each time it gets filled with, with a thread going across, which is often referred to as a pick, and that is your weaving process, and your cloth, your scarf, your throw, whatever you're weaving, is being formed. And all this happens at speed, and you can program in whatever combination of colors you want crossing at any one time. You can put in what way you want your shafts going up and down because you might want to produce a different type of weave. You might want to do a herringbone um, effect. You might want to do a plain weave. You might want to do a different sizes of herringbone, broken twill, two and two twill. These are all just different weave options. And they will in turn give the fabric a different look. As your cloth weaves, it gathers then under the loom, and after a certain production run size, um, that is removed, and the next one continues on. If it's something that requires fringing, which is putting the sort of tassels into a scarf or a rug, we do that on our fringing machine. We then inspect it, and if there's any faults, that have been created in the weaving process. Uh, we will mend them by hand. And then once the pieces are mended and finished, we then wrap them up and we send them to our finishing plant. And um, they will then carry out what's called the finishing process and they return then everything to us where we'll give it another final examination. And if it's a throw or a scarf, we'll cut it into whatever it is to be and we label it and uh, put it on the shelf and it's ready for dispatch to our customers.